This is my 80s Sharp Ghetto Blaster, which I've done a, a few modifications to. The first one is um, adding a line in port so you can connect something like your, your iPod or any other audio input to it. And also um, I've added Bluetooth to it so you can connect it with your phone or any basically Bluetooth compatible device like a, a laptop or whatever. And there's also, um, I've added a, a switch which selects between all the modes, you've got the radio, the next one up to the Bluetooth, and then the top ones, the line in. If I'm, I'll give you a demonstration of how all this works. So if we start on the radio, you can see you can still control it from the side. Then you can uh, switch it over uh, to the line in, which is the top one. Then you get a cable. Just connect it into the side. And then you can control it from the iPod. And the way it's been wired in is you still have full control over the, the tone, which is like the base of the bass and the treble all put into one. This is a typical thing of the 80s and 90s, you don't see it so much now, tone control. Yeah, you've obviously got the full volume and you can still control the volume from here and then obviously skip tracks. And I'll give you a, a demonstration how the Bluetooth works. So if we switch on to Bluetooth, which is the middle one, and then if you use a phone, you switch it on. Should automatically sync to this telephone. Um, I'll go into settings to show you what it looks like. I'll just sync to now, that's what that sound is. Yeah, it's, it's called. Uh, DMZ music and you have to put like a, a password in which is just uh, four zeros and then you can connect to the device but um, I'll show you it working uh, I'll just play something off the radio I've actually not got any songs in this it's not even my phone Pause it. Get it. Next. You get quite a distance actually. I think it was up to 10 meters. As you can see, there's no cables in this. And it's uh, all coming from the phone. You can also control the volume as well. So that's basically it, an 80s ghetto blaster with Bluetooth, line in and a selectable switch. Um, the battery lasts quite a long that you're not using the, uh, the tape deck. Out of like a reasonable um, 6 size C batteries you can get I think about 16 hours out of them, it's something quite crazy. Because obviously compared to, um, to the iPod docks, the, the battery cell is obviously much bigger. So if you imagine the size of that compared to a small battery cell you get in an iPod dock, this lasts like a, a pretty long time, which is pretty good. It's handy for taking down the beach and stuff, barbecues or whatever. But yeah, that's basically it.